going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. I've got my I've got my Demon Lord Clan Boss shirt on. No big deal. I wouldn't wear this out in public, but it's pretty cool to wear in a video. Anyway, guys, that's right. Another sacred shard. Another shard opening video. It seems like these shard events are every other day, maybe? Maybe every day sometimes? Well, Plarium is the milkmaid and I am the cow. I'm the cow. Go move. <laughs> Today we're gonna open some more shards, ladies and gentlemen, for each legendary that we pull. We will be donating $100 to charity Voices of Children, helping the children of Ukraine who have been displaced, uh, those who are without food, shelter, uh, the basic necessities in, uh, you know, in life right now, uh, struggling out there. So $100 per legendary. We have 17 sacred shards, guys. Let's just get to it. We have a two times chance and a chance 10 times, I believe, of pulling Dracomorph. Pulling Dracomorph, who I already have, but boy, would I love another one of him. I would like to empower him. Power up the lizard? What is, what is he? A lizard lizard dog? The lizard dog Dracomorph. Anyway, we got Gorgorab. Sorry, Layla Fox. We're just talking about your uh, Gorgos, one of your uh, most wanted epic champions out there in the game. Good for the arena. He's got a speed lead. He's got a revive all. He's got a speed boost as well. What more do you want? from your speed booster in the arena. Next up is gonna be a legendary epic champion called Doom Priest. She might as well be a legendary. I love Doom Priest because of her passive. You get the heal, you get the cleanse every single time she takes a turn. Put her in Relentless set and you can thank me later. Thought about doing an updated uh, guide on, on Doom Priest, but I think I've probably said everything there is to say about Doom Priest. Sinesha! How you doing, Sinesha? See, I'm in a good mood right now, but when I start pulling epic after epic after epic and there's no legendaries, then things will might change a little bit for the course of the video. Sinesha, I love Sinesha. She's a great healer. One of the better healers out there. This immortality is an amazing heal. She's got a heal as well on the A2, along with putting a target skills on cooldown and an AoE on the A1. Really, really love Sinesha. Next up is going to be, boom, it's going to be an... Ah! She runs at me like a mad woman, Sashi. Golly! Speaking of A1s on the A1, boom, she's got it with decreased accuracy. On the A2, we got decreased crit rate in Leech. On the A3, we got increased attack. Fills the of all allies by 20% if the attack is critical. What do you guys think of Sashi? I think I ask you this every single time I pull her, so let me know again in the comments. All right, next up is gonna be, we got 13 more to go, 13 more. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, we got Dr. Pierce. He's really good. I'm not gonna go over his kit. He's really good. Decrease attack, decrease defense. There it is! Draco, come to Lysandra, baby! What's up, Lysandra? I cannot complain about Lysandra. The queen of speed! Lysandra, look at her with her bright orange hair, her high elven attire. Looking good there, Lysandra, the crown of speed. Okay, that's getting a little too far here, Ash. Increased speed in all battles, 24%. She's got Energize ability. That's increased speed. Fill turn meter 30, decrease turn meter 30. What an ability. Energize definitely, I don't know, the, the king, the queen? The, 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 the best ability when it comes to turn meter manipulation with increased speed. Love that ability. Exhaustion. Exhaustion. <laughs> nice. Exhaustion. Fully depletes target's turn meter. Thank you very much. And then transfers all divas from this champion to the target. Uh, very, very, very good champion. And uh, I might give you guys a treat at the end of this video. Of course, I don't get the 10 times, but I can't complain at all about Lysandra. All right, that's $100 for charity, guys. There she is, Crimson Helm. We're going to keep it going here, guys. Keep it going. I have a good feeling. I have a good oh, Sigmund the High Shield! Sigmund! Why am I- why is he excited about a mediocre champion? Because I didn't fuse him, that's why I'm excited. Welcome to the team, Sigmund the High Shield! What do you guys think about this dude? Look at that shield! Oh my god, that's a shield and a half over there. I like- what does he have on this shield anyway? He's got some coat of arms. And he's got this uh, big thing in the middle. Okay, cool. Uh, Sigmund's a pretty cool champion. He's got the stash, man. Does he have the best stash in the game? You guys think he's got the big stash? All right, here we go. On the A1, we got to sh uh, removes any shield. 50% chance of removing one buff. Instead, when attacking, boss is 100% chance, okay? On the A2, an AoE times two. Each hit has a 75% chance of placing a provoke. 
and 100% chance of placing a decreased attack damage based on defense three turn cooldown thank you very much good ability on the a3 shield of the realm place a shield on all allies go figure for two turns equal to 30% of this champion's max hp places a big version of strengthen as well hey this is a really good support champion here guys three turn cooldown whenever this champion is attacked 20% chance of decreasing the duration of all buffs on the attacker by one turn has a 40% chance instead against a bosses very interesting if you guys have them let me know where you use him. Defense and Doom Tower battles by 40%. Hey, there we go. Brand new champion. Two legendaries. That's $200. Let's make it three legendaries, guys. Let's do this. Captain Tamilla. Well, 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 Captain Tamilla. We just did a guide on her. Actually a pretty solid champion. Good time to go ahead and... Uh, and let you guys know about that that video if you want to check it out after this one we got continuous heal uh on herself on the a1 whatever she got increased defense and a great heal based on her max hp on the a2 and then she has ally protect on a four turn cooldown uh very cool champion not the best champion in the game but you can do a lot Whoa! i'm pretty tired we only get one life like this Logan the Steadfast, we are reigning legendaries, ladies and gentlemen. Why is this guy this excited about a video game? Hey man, it's raining Legos, I'm feeling it. Uh, increased defense, ally protect on a four turn cooldown. Then he has, this is his, his big money ability. I think he's kind of underrated, guys. What about you? AoE, 100% block active skills for two turns. Very, very good ability. Don't need to tell you guys why. Just locks him out. Locks him out. All right. That can be removed. I guess that's the downside to it. Unlike Warlord, where he just maximizes the uh, the cooldown. Uh, but nonetheless, Logan the Steadfast. I am a big fan of this champion. I actually just built him, my first Logan the Stead, uh, Steadfast, about maybe uh, two or three weeks ago. The 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 last... Oh, another baby oh man hey the demon lower clan boss shirt is rocking today it's a good luck charm i'm gonna wear this every single video i'm never gonna wash it ever again that really wouldn't be a change from normal life for me i'm just joking we got decreased defense weaken we got a ton of damage on the a1 surplus damage all over the place and then he has four uh poisons on the a2 uh, one of the best debuffers in the game, one of the best damage dealers in the game. Way back in the day, Draco used to be a laughing stock, kind of like uh, Mashal, right? One of these champions that went from kind of worst to first, or at least up there on the tier rankings. Draco Morph, let's empower him. Let's get another the five legendaries. Can we get five? I went from happy to angry. Skip said, "Now I feel like kicking his ass." Oh man, I was getting a little too hyped there, a little too hyped there, Ash. Anax, whatever. Get out of here, man. All Legos all the time in this video. Boom, boom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got Bushi. We got Bushi. All right, let's do it. 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 Okay, okay. Man, we got lucky today. Baroth the bro uh, Blood Soaked. I've said this a few times before, guys, but I kind of like this dude. He's not the best epic in the game, but kind of like Captain Tamilla, he's cool, right? He has a shield and a heal on this ability is A2. Shields everybody, heals everybody. On this ability, decrease attack, decrease defense. I use him in uh, secret rooms on Doom Tower. You can use him against bosses. Very good champion. Here we, oh, a pretty good champion. Burn Geary. Got the AOE stun. Damage based on defense. And then he has the strengthen and the shield. Burn Geary. Kind of an annoying slash cool passive as well. Can solo Bommel. Juliana. Get out of here, Juliana. Juliana needs a massive buff, right? She's got the five turn cooldown poison. Woo! And the five turn cooldown HP burn. That's it. Single target. All right. Get out of here. Here it is. The last shard of the video. Boom! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we don't need to re up. We don't need to just go all out here. Four legendary champions, one brand new. A couple of them really, really good. Hey, let me, let me, uh, hey, anybody who gets offended, there's a few of you guys in the comments. I'm, I apologize for being a, a dirty pay to win whale. I apologize, but, uh, anybody who's offended by such things should probably turn the video off now. I love you and appreciate you. You have a great day. All right. The rest of you guys, check this out. I think, I think we might not do it here, but here's the situation. I already had four Lysandras. I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. They're all in the, the Guardians, as you guys can see. Now I have five. 
So I could get a fully maxed out Lysandra if I use that in brand new Lysandra to empower my main Lysandra. However, I don't want to, I don't think I want to sacrifice. I was going to do it and then I was like, wow, I don't want to sacrifice 10% defense and 10 speed on every high elf legendary I have just to empower one Lysandra. Oh man. Hey, by the way, a lot of you guys, just kind of apropos of nothing here, a lot of you guys, uh, let me see what I can do with Draco real quick. A lot of you guys with a ninja video, right? A lot of you, the whole problem with ninja, people are mad about not getting ninja, not having access to ninja, new players. Kind of makes sense, one of the best champions in the game. Uh, limited edition, right? Uh, you can never get him again. Uh, but some people are saying, make him appear in the token trader. So allow those players to trade in, you know, five, six legendaries or whatever for a chance at uh, ninja, kind of a limited edition chance. Maybe even come around once a year for all the exclusive champions in the game. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Appreciate you guys. Good luck. If you did pull, actually probably going to upload this right after the event is over. So let me know what you got in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. And as always, take care, guys.